our miraculous body part 4 stress and immune system what are the effects of stress on our immune system first of all what exactly is immune system in simple words immune system is a complex network of cells organs tissues and proteins that defends the body against infection Immune system finds the unhealthy cells in the body and it attacks and kills them. These unhealthy cells can be from outside infection or from inside cellular damage caused by non-infectious agents. We can call the cells of our immune system the soldiers of our body. There are many different kinds of soldiers who have different jobs. but the goal is to protect our body the main soldiers are the white blood cells they circulate throughout our body like marching soldiers the most important cells in the context of stress is lymphocytes and phagocytes they detect an alien cell or infectious cell in the body They rush towards it, attack it, and kill it. A little stress is important for our body as it invokes the survival through fight or flight mode. Short-term stress can be protective as it prepares us to deal with the challenges. This is the normal procedure in a healthy body, but when we have long-term chronic stress. Our body starts producing the stress hormone called cortisol. These hormones can reduce the number of lymphocytes, the marching soldiers in our body. Then if you have to catch cold or infection, the chances of getting sick are higher because the quantity of the soldiers has reduced. Or if you have minor cellular damage or cancerous cells developed inside the then because of the lack of soldiers the chances of those bad cells to increase are higher the longer the stress the greater the number of decrease in these specific white blood cells sometimes to cope with stress people start unhealthy behavior like smoking drinking overeating etc These activities compromise immune system even more further and can lead to chronic diseases. Stress affects you not just mentally but also physically. Reduce the level of stress to live a happy and healthy life. Exercise daily. Exercise increases the level of happy hormones in our body and reduces the level of cortisol. stress hormone get proper sleep do some volunteering work the best kind of satisfaction is to help someone in need without thinking about what you will get out of it prioritize your work write things down if you have too much to do Also write down the things that you are thankful for. What you have might not be enough for you, but it might be everything for someone else. So be thankful for what you have. Be mindful. Take a break to smell the flower. The good, bad, ugly things will happen until you are alive. We cannot run away from cleaning, cooking, washing, working assignments, deadlines, parent teacher meetings, social obligations, wedding, birthday, funeral, etc., etc. until our last breath. So, in the midst of all this drama, take few minutes out to just sit and do nothing. Listen to the birds, feel the breeze on your face, watch sunrise, sunset. You will be surprised how much of positive effect these few minutes can make on your body 
mentally and physically. In the end, do not try to manage your stress, but try to live a healthy and balanced life. Stress will automatically fall out. Wish you all a very happy and healthy day. Namaste.